chapter, uh, the chapter, you got me thinking novels. <laughs> the, the piece I submitted uh, was, uh, was a chapter from a memoir I was writing at the time about uh, life with my daughter. It's very long, so I didn't think it would be a very good one to read tonight. Um, but it was about uh, just the the day-to-day -day caretaking of a person who cannot take care of themselves, um, and how my realization from that as a caretaker and being very tired, um, that what I saw as a chore was her uh, daddy-daughter time and it's very important to her, which was a very enlightening experience for me. So I, I've gone back and reworked that, um, that memoir and made it into a graphic novel, which I have a proof of with me today, yay! And, um, and actually I'm gonna do a book release here at uh, Alvern on April 2nd with awesome. my favorite people, with the uh, Pirate. Pirate and Pirate. So that's going to be a lot of fun. So April 2nd, come out for the big um, release. So I just wanted to read just a very short thing out of this to give you a taste of what it is. And so uh, this is the story of really my journey as a caretaker with my daughter, who uh, passed away um, almost two years ago. And so um, the, the book release date is April 1st, which would have been her 18th birthday. And um, so the opening uh, chapter, and it's very difficult to read a uh, graphic novel, right? So it's, you know, it's a comic book. Um, so, and I've just finished my Kickstarter. Well, actually, there's 24 hours left on it. So if you, you, know, you need to pre-order a copy, you can pre-order uh, through the Kickstarter. Uh, and I'm very excited about that. It went very well. So uh, what the section I'm going to read to you is about my other daughter, Ruby. And on the day that her sister died, uh, she uh, at the time was 11 years old. And she went off and she wrote me a letter. And she wrote me this beautiful letter. And, uh, and that's what really solidified what the graphic novel is about. So the graphic novel is really... On the day her sister died, she wrote me this letter, and I struggled with how to respond to it. And the graphic novel is the response to it. Uh, and so uh, it was really a way to tell her her family story, um, and hopefully uh, tell a broader story that other people who can identify with caregiving or isolation or depression or all the things that go along with that um, so that's what it's about. So I'm just going to read you her letter and my response back to her in the introduction to the book. So the grief counselor tried to talk to Ruby, our 11-year-old daughter, but she stayed quiet. She wanted to stay strong. Instead, Ruby wrote me a letter. I was so touched that I decided to write her back, but the words failed me. And this is her letter. Dear Dad, and this is her actual letter. This isn't edited. This is her actual letter. Dear Dad, it's hard to think that I will never see my sister again. And I know it's even harder for you. But as your only daughter, now I will do as much as I can to live up to sister and make you smile like she made you smile. I know I'll never live up to her, but I'll at least try. So with all my heart, I hope we can carry on but I know it will never be the same without her. Love, Ruby. So I struggled with how to write her back. And so there's a picture of me writing her back. And I'm sitting in uh, her sister's room. This is her sister. Her, I turned her sister's room into my studio, uh, where I paint and I do my art and I, and I write. Um, and uh, dear Ruby, Thank you for your letter. I'm sitting in your sister's room, trying to write you back. I'm here because I feel her presence lingering. I think she wants me to tell her story one more time, not for a doctor or social worker, but for us, our family, and people like us who are struggling with depression, mourning, feelings of isolation, the strain of caregiving, or that they can't live up to expectations of others. 
Although Savannah lived with tremendous pain and frustration, she pursued life with tenacity and humor. She overcame many obstacles, and I'm so proud of her accomplishments. I've come to realize that her story, our story, is our most valuable possession. We must preserve it and share it. She showed us how to survive and even thrive under the most difficult circumstances. She taught us how to bend instead of break, she taught us that when life is bleak, it is still possible to find the courage to rise. And that's what the book's called, is And Yet We Rise. And it's, it's about the grinding day to day and having to rise every morning and get up no matter what and do it again. Um, and that's it. Yes, it will. Uh, the, cook, the Kickstarter's ends, like I said, in about 24 hours. It's 170 some odd percent funded, nice. which is really cool. I'm really excited about it. I was able to raise a lot more money than I needed to print a first run. I'm printing it myself because, like I said, I've talked to, at one point I had an agent and it's like, you know, it's just not the thing I do. No, it's just not, this isn't the kind of thing we do. Where's the superheroes, you know, kind of thing. So no, it's not about, it's a different kind of superhero. Mm -hmm. so, I actually love reading that book. Well, thank you. And so I'm excited. I think there's a market for it. I think there's a lot of people very interested. Uh, I've gotten great feedback, and I'm really happy to share it with people. And, uh, thank you. Always let the pain go away. Yeah. Well, and I think... Yeah, thank you very much. And uh, it's been, you know, like I said, almost two years exactly, a few days, and, you know, you go on. And that's part of what the book is about, too, is it's it's not, I'm so sick of the pretty books and the inspirational books and the happy and the, op you know, I'm just sick of all that stuff. Because the story's not pretty. And it starts by saying, you know, the truth is horrific and beautiful. And that's, I'm okay with that. And we have to think about reality. Yeah, and I'm, I'm fine with that. Yeah. I'm, I'm fine with that. And that's what the story is about. It's not glorifying it. It's not saying it's a horrible thing, but it's not also saying it's the most, you know, yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you all so much. So just, I, did, I do have another thing. Yeah, until um, So the contest for this year, the deadline's in September. So there is tons of time to get something together to submit, writers out there in the audience. Um, and also for the first time, um, we're putting together a chat book with the help of one of our entrants actually. He emailed me, or he emailed us after the last contest was over and was like, y'all should do a chat book, it's super easy. You can have it done by Christmas. And we're like, yes, that would be cool, but Christmas, Probably not, <laughs> but we are working on it this year, and so, um, you know, hopefully over the summer or fall we'll have something that actually collects some of these stories, um, not just the great, wonderful grand prize winning work, but also some of the stuff that maybe didn't make it as far in the process, but that we still like a whole lot, so um, that is something new this year that we're really super excited What's about. What's your website? Uh, it's txdisabilities.org slash <laughs> pen dash the number two dash paper. Hey. I can't. <laughs> My thumb is not keeping up. Okay. okay. I'm to dot org <laughs> okay. slash. If you go to txdisabilities.org, uh, it's in the sidebar on the right. There's a link to the pen to paper. Okay. All right. Gotcha. Thanks. Thank you. Great question. <laughs> We're also on Facebook. Very excited for the chat book. I can't wait to see it. Okay. Thank you again. Have a lovely Thanks for having us. Thank you.